everybody, this is Jeff from ConcessionSinks.com. Um, I want to take a second to do a, a quick video uh, on some questions I've had and maybe some things you need to consider if you're looking to get a concession sink or you're getting a concession business. Um, some things you need to look at um, or consider. You know, I know if you're getting in concession business, you really don't know what you need. And let me try to go over a few things and the different options that are out there. Okay, um, most health departments are going to require you to have some way to wash your hands and your utensils. Now, some places are, are a lot more lenient than others, but most health departments across the country, you know, if yours at this point is not requiring it, trust me, they're going to in the future. I mean, it's just a matter of time. Most are, and you're going to run into that and you'll find that. Not to discourage you, because we've got the answer. It's just uh, you got to you got to look at the different options of what you want and what you need. First off, okay, you're going to have to have some way to wash your hands. All right, and typically most health departments are going to require you to have a three base sink. And that may be it. They may just make you have a three tier sink, and that be the requirement. Now, some if you're in, in a low risk food like lemonade in some places or kettle corn or boiled peanuts here in Alabama, that's what they consider a low risk food. They may just require you to have a one but one bay sink somewhere to wash your hands. That's very few and far between. I mean, most health departments are requiring three sinks and a hand washing sink. Okay? Three bays and a hand washing. That's a total of four sinks. Okay, so well. You know, it, to me, if I was getting into it, I would go ahead and go with the four bay because in that way, next year, if the health department upgrades their rules to to rules that other people, other states and other counties have, you'll have it covered. There's not a whole lot more cost in a four bay sink than there is a single bay. You still got to have hot water, you, you know, hot water heater, a pump, fresh gray water drains. So there's not a whole lot more cost in going with the four bay sinks versus a one bay or a three bay. So okay so you're probably going to have to have four sinks you're going to have to have some source of hot water whether that be propane or electric that's going to be your two choices and I'm going to try to explain the differences and why I like the propane over the electric you're going to have to have some way to pump the water okay you're going to have to have either a 110 pump or a 12 volt pump okay one of the two that's your only two choices um, you're going to have to have some kind of cart to put all this on I've seen people at shows that have built their own sink systems and they bought three or four sinks at Lowe's and they they put a it's um you know and, they, and I say what do you got in that oh I got two grand <laughs> you know it's unbelievable and it's it's just you know it's this big it's huge I see people pull out these sinks at these at these uh, festivals that's got the big commercial sinks that come out of a kitchen. It's unreal. It takes three people to tote it. Uh, it's, it'll blow you away. So, what you need to look at is is what you want, what you need. Um, on on our bigger sink, only the only difference between this this the bigger sink system and the smaller sink is the size of the three bays. And you're going to have to have something. Whatever your largest utensil is, say you're selling hot, just for instance, you're selling hot dogs and you're boiling hot dogs with a big pot well you that pot's got to be able to fit into your sinks okay so you're going to need a bigger sink you know the bigger sinks if you're in the lemonade and you're just washing forks and spoons and spatulas and shaker cups and that type of thing these sinks will be totally fine so you got to look at what size sinks you need how many sinks you need and how you're going to heat your water and how you're going to provide pressure okay just about everybody goes with 12 volt pump. Uh, you can get 110 pumps, but let me let me let me back up just a second. Not on the pumps, but on the hot water heaters. There's a lot of people that's building these concession sinks and they have an electric hot water heater. And I have people call me and ask me, say, why should I go with propane hot water over electric hot water heater? Some people are kind of leery of the propane, you know. And let me take a second and try to explain that. First off. When you take electricity and put it on a sink, which is water, that's when you, you, you're really talking about danger at that point, to me. I mean, you've got electricity on a sink system. 
it just to me it seems just totally dangerous I mean anyways everybody knows about electricity and water that's why I personally like the 12 volt propane unit because it's totally portable you know you can you roll it off the truck you set down the propane bottle you hook up that hose open the bottle and you're done you know you don't get the extension cord out and go find an outlet everybody knows in the in the concession business how hard it is about electricity you know so so there's just really no sense in it if, if you've ever had one of these propane units you would love it um, you don't have to wait on the water to hook up uh, you don't have to wait for you know if you've got a five gallon fresh water tank okay and you got a seven gallon gray water tank well when you get to a show you're gonna have to plug up that hot water heater first thing you gotta do is fill that hot water heater because if you plug it up then fill it you're gonna blow the element and now you don't have any hot water so so you 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 turn on the water and then you you turn on the hot water heater well now you, you those hot water heaters hold two and a half gallons so now you've got two you've got half the amount of water that you did have on the cold side so it just it just doesn't make sense and people's just not educated on these little propane heaters is the only reason um, if you ever had one you would never you would love it I love these heaters I've had them on every sink I've ever had um, they just let me explain something real quick this little heater doesn't have a pilot light or anything like that and it's not like your heater your gas hot water heater at home you know it's not that type of deal when you turn on the hot water this thing senses water going through it it's got a little click in there click 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 you'll hear it and it'll light but I mean it doesn't blow a flame out it it's just it just puts a little heat out the top um, and so and then when you turn hot water off it goes off so it's it's totally safe I mean even I believe if you back this up against the tin, I still don't believe it would catch on fire. I mean, and, and let's be honest. Let's just be honest with each other. You're not going to use hot water that much. You're going to use it when the health department guy walks up. And he's going to check and make sure you got hot water. And once you do, once he walks off, you're not going to use it again. That's just a, that's a fact. Um, so you don't want this big, you don't want this hot water heater on here full of water that you never use. Um, you can wash your spatula in cold water with soap and water just as easy as you can with hot. But they require you to have hot water, so you need it. But it's instant. You know, we turn hot water, you got hot water right there, we turn it off, it's over with. So, just want to try to clarify some things. Um, I see some units out there that, you know, make sure whatever you buy is going to be durable. You don't want to spend, you know, eight, nine hundred dollars on a sink system and it, it lasts you one year or, you know, if that. So, weigh it out you know you're gonna have to have hot and cold water under pressure you're gonna have to have um, three bay possibly four bay sink um, you're gonna have to get it from point A to point B somehow so it's gonna have to be on wheels and you know it, it's got to be cleanable it, you don't want it to weigh as much as a Volkswagen I mean so 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 look at look at what's out there and and and, and Try to figure out exactly what you want. I think these sinks that we have will, will, will be good for anybody in any concession business. I mean, I hope that either you build it or you buy this smaller one or you buy this larger one and your sink worries are over. Okay? So, if you have any questions, feel free to call me. Um, check with your health department. Don't let them scare you when they start, start talking about what you got to have to do this, that, and the other. Well, we've got it covered and we'll show you how to get out there and do it and not worry about it. Okay, thanks y'all. Have a good day.